What is going on, guys? I am finally here. The countdown has finally ended from everybody in the chat. <laughs> I am Brian Himmelfarb, a.k.a. the Himmel God. And, well, today is April 19th. Supposedly, the world was supposed to end on April 18th. Yep. We're still standing again. Welcome to the Himmel God has spoken because I just wouldn't let the world end. I make that decision. At least here on YouTube and Twitch. So, uh, welcome guys to another episode of the Himmel God Has Spoken. I am Brian Himmelfarb, a.k.a. The Himmel God. Thank you guys for joining me once again for another, could be crazy episode, could be a little toned down. I could rant, I could do any sort of thing that can happen. Of course, I find out my nephew also watches the show and he's 12 years old. So, Mason, here's a little warning for you. The seven dirty words will come out. So make sure mommy and daddy are not listening. <laughs> he listens to the show every week. I, I can't stop him anyway, but you know what? I don't mind anyway. He loves it, and he tells me about it the next day, and, and somehow he tells all his friends in school, my daddy's a... Oh, not my daddy. My, <laughs> my uncle is a YouTuber. It's so awesome. He's always on, and, and I love that, man. My nephew, dude. My nephew, Mason. Shout out to you. I know you're going to be listening. And uh, make sure you don't repeat most of the words I say to your friends. But uh, for everyone else here, anything goes. That's what we're here. That's what it's all about. Man, I'll tell you what, we're getting some new followers in here. And I want to go ahead and shout out some of those new followers who, by the way, joined up on Twitch. Let me shout out to Hopeless Emotion. I like that name. I just love that Hopeless Emotion. Kevin Carter, casual German dude. Justin Sausage 3000 and how about one of our latest Dewdrop 24 Dewdrop 24 thank you guys for all the follows on Twitch uh, our channel is this channel is slowly growing 246 followers and growing you guys are absolutely amazing keep that shit up and speaking of that shit YouTube I want to shout out to a, a guy who seems to be subbing a lot lately and that's Patrick Carnes once again Patrick Carnes Thank you for the subscribe on, on YouTube, man. I greatly appreciate that. You guys could go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel, which is right there on the screen. Just look right down on the bottom. Subscribe on YouTube. It's Brian Himmelfarb. Just go right there. Just do that in your search. It will take you right to my channel, and you're all set. Better yet, if you're on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, at HighOctane underscore Buzz, once again, look in that description down below. It's that blue bar right there on the bottom. They'll tell you where to go. We are inching, inching closer to 1,000 followers on Twitter. Inching. It's like the fucking worm, okay? Remember, Mason, don't repeat all the shit I say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're inching closer to that 1,000. Everyone's doing great. And uh, for those of you guys on YouTube and you're following there and you're subscribed on YouTube, click on the bell. You click on that bell... It'll let you know when I go live. I know YouTube's been a little sketchy lately, but at some point it's going to work. It really is. By the way, if you guys notice, we're on PlayStation this week. I've been on Xbox for the last couple of weeks uh, this week doing PlayStation. That's why you get to see my fancy mug up on the screen. We're working on that part for uh, Xbox, so that way you'll be able to see me as well. So, you know, everyone wants to see my fine looking self. I can't help it. You know, that's just how it works. Watch, watch the thumbs down now coming to get you, motherfucker. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me go ahead and give some other shout-outs here this week. I uh, want to shout-out, yes, PS4, baby, to Justin Sausage. That's why I have both of the consoles, man. I don't have to, I don't have favoritism between one and the other. By the way, you are hearing Avenge Sevenfold in the background. Uh, shout-outs, of course. Let's go ahead and put one out to Joe Cronin, the Joe Cronin Show, who, by the way, tonight will be live on YouTube with Thursday Night Throwdown. That starts at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you guys are subbed. Pretty sure mostly everyone that's here is already subbed to Joe Cronin's channel, Joe Cronin Show. So for those of you guys who are not, make sure you sub to that Joe Cronin Show uh, over on YouTube. You can also follow him on Twitter, at Real Cronin. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Also, we got Monetize This tomorrow night. What kind of craziness is going to happen on Monetize This? We got two people with points in the bank. Joe with points in a bank, which is kind of a little weird because he's champion. But isn't it crazy that someone from the chat now has points in the bank? D Moon has points in the bank. Elias coming out saying, don't vote for Tommy. <laughs> Y'all love that $3,000 bomb I went and threw. But uh, 
<laughs> you, you never expected it. You never know what's going to come. But I can tell you this. Tomorrow night's going to be crazy. Monetize this. Points in the bank. Could it be cashed in? Speaking of points in the bank, I can tell you this. Maybe if someone cashes in, the Himmel God will drop from the rafters like Sting and bring out his negative points in the bank. Yes, I dare one of you to go ahead and cash in your points in the bank. See what happens. I'll monetize this tomorrow night. Of course, Joe Cronin also has daily wrestling content. WWE, Ring of Honor, whatever it is. Mostly WWE. We got the uh, event in Saudi Arabia next week. Yes, Johnny Ray Sinister, Himmel God for champ. We, we're going to make that shit happen. I'm telling you right now. Uh, WWE has got the Saudi Arabia event next week on the network, which I think is at 12 p.m., which is uh, kind of a weird time, but it is in Saudi Arabia. It's on the other side of the world. And uh, the way the rumors are going that Roman Reigns is going to win, ugh. they turn him heel on Monday Night Raw. I, I, like Joe said, I'm, I'm down with that because he'll be way over for that shit. <laughs> but you know what? Somehow they'll fuck that up. And by the way, the greatest Royal Rumble, 50 participants in the Rumble. I got to mess. I got to I got to bring this up. What is the prize for them for winning this Royal Rumble? Are they just... Is this what I really heard? They're going to give them a trophy? A fucking trophy? Is it going to be like the, the Women's Royal Rumble trophy? They'll hand them a giant uterus? I mean, I don't know what it is. Because if it's a trophy, that's going to suck. Why can't it be like a championship match at SummerSlam? That would have made a lot of sense. I would have loved to have seen that. But I just don't see the point of 50 guys competing for, hey, I won the greatest Royal Rumble. Who cares? Has it done anything for any other uh, Battle Royal winners? Has it done anything for the Royal Rumble winners for this past WrestleMania? What's it going to do now? It's, it, it's going to be a little weird, but uh, I will be watching it. I'm pretty sure a lot of us are going to be watching. And uh, I'm pretty sure maybe on uh, JP Baker's channel, we might be doing some live shit during the event. I don't know for sure. It depends on... Uh, what his schedule is. Maybe I'll go live on my channel and do it, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, follow Joe Cronin's show. We're going to have a lot of stuff going on, uh, especially WWE. We had the shakeup this past week. SmackDown, big winner on that shakeup, I could tell you what. But WWE, please don't fuck it up. They always find a way to, but I'm telling them, don't fuck it up. But they'll find a way. They always do. Another shout out, of course, to Foul Mouth Ken. Let's talk about Ken. Ken from the Foul Mounts Network. You can follow him at FMN Nation. Foul Mounts Network currently on a strike. Make sure you do send a follow that way as well. Eventually, once he gets back live on that channel, we'll be back there. But FMN Nation on YouTube. You can follow Ken, of course, on Twitter at Ken Foul Mounts. Make sure you guys check that out. And yes, Johnny, we're talking. I was going to mention that, dude. Ken was straight fucking fire last night. Straight fucking fire. I loved it. I dropped a donation on his show and said, damn, dude. He went off. We're not going to say who he went off on. So if any of you guys don't know what happened, go back and watch <laughs> Foul Mouths Live from this past Wednesday and listen to him go off. I mean, holy cow. You usually never see Ketten like that. And when you do, it's that rant was gold. Absolute freaking gold. It was Absolutely epic. You're definitely right, Johnny Ray Sinister. Oh, man. It was absolutely insane. I loved it, man. Heel Ken. Absolute Heel Ken. Imagine Heel Ken on Monetize This. Heel Ken on Monetize This. I want to see it. I want him to be Heel Ken on Monetize This. Not just on, on Tommy, but, dude, just, just go off on everybody. Especially after he lost the belt. Dude, I would say bring out Heel Ken. What I saw Wednesday, give me that on Friday. I want to see that. I'll go nuts. I will go absolutely <laughs> shout out of course to justin bailey uh at justin bailey i n you can follow him there on twitter of course jbshow.net you can check out jb radio i check it out a lot of great stuff there on jb radio uh make sure you guys go ahead and send a sub that way it's free to go on jbshow.net uh he has a blog right there and you can see all the blogs and everything of going on and uh yeah johnny i'm not going to mention that name right there <laughs> <laughs> That's a story for a whole nother show. <laughs> but yeah, follow Justin Bailey at Justin Bailey IN on Twitter and of course JBShow.net. Finally, want to go ahead and give a shout out to the one and only gatekeeper, Drew. Drew, I know he listens to this show. Drew, of course, you can follow at gatekeeper5150 over on Twitter. We have a live show on Saturday called Derailed. 
where a lot of the people, all stars of the community, come together, do a show, and it's crazy. It happens around the same time as uh, Joe, Ken, and Justin do Corrupted. So you got Corrupted over on Patreon, and of course you got us over here on YouTube. I've been on the show now with Drew for the last couple of weeks, and it has been fire. Last week we played Cards Against Humanity, and it was insane. <laughs> Super Laser, I know you're trying to kill me on that about his selfie pictures. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but yeah, derailed absolutely insanity. You you want to see some good stuff going on and some crazy things. I think last week we t all talked about stuff from our childhood. And then got into Cards Against Humanity. And uh, it went off, off the rails, literally. When you talk about people, other people from the chat that we allowed into the game. So when you had Steven German and Dan Rexon on the game, oh my god, it, it was just hilarious. Comedy gold. Make sure you check out that on Drew's channel uh, on YouTube. Derailed Gatekeeper. Make sure you guys check that out and check out Derailed. We're going to be uh, on again this Saturday. Uh, make sure you check that out. But yeah, follow Gate, uh, Drew at Gatekeeper5150 over on Twitter. Send these guys those follows, man. Send me a follow as well, just as I said, right there in the bottom of the screen, at high octane underscore buzz. So if you don't get all this stuff right away, you'll find me, and then I'll let you know where, where I'm at, what I'm doing, if I'm on a show or, or whatnot. I will be able to direct you guys there. Uh, shout out to a few other people I want to go ahead and give shout outs to. Uh, the one and only JP Baker. JP Baker, and of course the Tattooed Mistress. Uh, check out both of them on YouTube as well. And uh, they have the Cold Bone Show. Johnny Ray Sinister. Make sure you're also following Johnny Ray Sinister as well. Uh, he's got his own podcast going. Uh, very happy to go ahead and watch those. Uh, yeah, dude, Johnny, you're doing such a great job, dude. I, I got to give a shout out to you. Uh, also, shout out to the Canadian Basement. I wouldn't be too surprised if Canadian Basement goes live tonight. He was live uh, last Thursday playing Cuphead. If you want to see some frustration, <laughs> go check out Canadian Basement over <laughs> on YouTube, which is simply Canadian Basement. <laughs> wow, that, that is pretty crazy. We went through all these uh, shout-outs here. Definitely, Johnny Ray, you deserve it, man. And I'll tell you what, before we get into our topics of the day, which I will talk about here, we're going to talk celebrity deaths. We got some... A lot of news of those celebrity deaths going on. They're happening pretty frequently lately. Uh, we're going to talk Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We're playing Black Ops 3 tonight. And, uh, of course, Sega. I want to get into Sega because I know there's another Sega mark out there just as big as I am about Sega. And I'm talking about Foul Mouth Bobbit. <laughs> Which, Bobbit, we're going to have to talk about uh, BCW in your swamp. How does the Himmel God lose the Intercontinental title? How is that possible? gonna have to talk about that one bob it <laughs> let's see i'm gonna set up a quick game here we're gonna play some call of duty here for a few minutes when we come back we're gonna go ahead and get started for the day with uh the topics of the day so let's see if i can set up here and see what i want to go and make sure my bots are set up seven and eight okay and uh game mode wise we're gonna start out with team deathmatch <laughs> yes it is unfair that i lost my belt <laughs> I'm going to stay on the same match here, uh, or same map. I'm going to do Combine. And we're going to start this baby up here. Thank you guys, by the way, for joining me here. As I said, we're going to play some Call of Duty in between. And uh, probably towards the end, maybe a round of Zombies. Should be pretty interesting. Uh, as I'm looking forward to going ahead and doing that. So we're playing on the Combine map. And as you can see, I'm a Purifier. I kind of like this class a lot, so... I think it's between this one and that one robot class. And he's got the gun that comes out of his arm, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I like using him as well. I'm not going to beast on this because I'll be honest with you. It's been a long time since uh, I played Black Ops 3 in typical multiplayer fashion. Mostly I just play for zombies, which is part of what I'm looking forward to in Black Ops 4. But uh, yeah, we're going to start with this and then uh, we'll go into some... Uh, some news. Hurry up. Start me. I'm waiting. Alright. Here we go. Check out that skin, baby. Into the void. As I said, I'm not a genius in this game. I'm not like a pro or anything, so. 
Smoked his ass. Right there. At least I got one to start the game. Oh shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Alright, I got a double kill right there to start. But, I could do this. Do, 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 do. Watch out, here I come. I remember this from Black Ops 1. Oh, you little bitch! How the fuck did he see that? Oh shit. That part sucked. At least I got a double kill when it started. Okay, another hostile UAV is up there. But I didn't I didn't get anything to shoot it. I didn't pick any class to go ahead and shoot it down. Friendly UAV inbound. I think on this difficulty, at least the AI would be a little bit smarter. Oh, I didn't even know he was right in front of me. <laughs> oh my god, purifier is ready to go. Oh shoot. Oh yeah, okay, he was right up there. Ten and four. I don't really care about kill death ratio to be honest with you. I don't even know why I even looked. Gotta strike him from above. <laughs> if I can get the kill streak going, yeah, I'll do it. I'll strike him from above. I did that wall run. It didn't work out for me very well. Oh, you little fuck! So my dog is crying over there in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear him. That's it. UAV inbound. Oh shoot! Ah, oh, just what I was gonna shoot. I don't know if we're, oh we're we're losing right now. Shit! I didn't realize we're losing. Oh shit! I I, gotta, I forget about a lot of this stuff. Knife him in the crotch, Johnny Ray. You fuck. I'm too busy reading what I saw in the chat. I got killed. Damn it! <laughs> That's funny, dude. Knife him in the crotch! Knife him in the crotch! Where's he shooting me from? Oh! Like I said, I'm not a pro in this game. I'm not MLG or any of that bullshit. I will play different game modes through the night, though. I'm not always gonna play Team Deathmatch. Triple kill! Oh. Pretend the other players are. T <laughs> you guys are bad! <laughs> it's it better play. <laughs> Sausage wants to see rage. Well, I'm raging right now because I haven't got to use one freaking thing other than my damn freaking little RCK thing. Okay, Fabe, thank you for the follow. Okay, Fabe. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to see me do Black Ops 3 a little bit more often, I will. Connor from OK Fabe. Love that guy, man. Is there out of nowhere last night? Another good episode of Out of Nowhere. About to... Damn it! I am doing like shit now. Hostile counter UAV above. Radar is down. Radar is down. Oh, okay, Fabe, you the man. <laughs> Don't sell your short. Don't sell yourself short, brother. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm gonna burn a motherfucker. No, I said not shoot me. I said I'm gonna burn a motherfucker. <laughs> Love it. Okay, Fabe in the house. We're gonna start talking celebrity deaths in a few minutes here. 
really get into that. I'm not. I'm trying not to ride any walls right now, and we fucking lost. Yeah, there, hey, there's a great way, Brian. Great job on the stream. You just lost. Fuck hell. <laughs> That's okay. Considering the fact I probably haven't played this game in about a year, except for zombies, you'd think I'd do a lot better, but we'll, we'll have more stuff. We'll do a different game mode after this. I think I might do like hard point or uh, domination or something like that. You won't even hear it coming. Look at me. I'm like a lesbian seagull. <laughs> oh, I love this shit. Hey, I was number one on my team. 19 and 13. God dang. Not that I care. I, I really don't. It's not like a prerequisite in life that says, you know, if, you, if you're a guy trying to pick up a chick and you're like, yeah, my kill death ratio is like a six on freaking Call of Duty. Like, that bitch is going to care. She's not going to care. <laughs> She'll go out with a guy whose kill death ratio is 0.4. Because at least probably he'll spend more time with her. Hey, just thought I'd guys let you guys know that. <laughs> it's not like a girl's going to go out with you and be saying, Hey, uh, I can play Through the Fire and Flames on Expert and Guitar Hero. I don't freaking care, man. <laughs> but uh, it's a little thing in life. Don't have to mention the video game stuff. So let's get started with some stuff here on the day. We'll get back to some more Call of Duty here in just a, a few minutes. Um, as you're hearing, Avenged Sevenfold play in the background. <laughs> so, tell me this is fucked up. 2016. Which feels like, like ancient fucking times now. Is, we had a lot of celebrities go. And it was like maybe during during at least a good certain block till towards that end of the year. Where they just kept coming, rolling one by one by one by one. Trump got elected one by one by one by one. Y you know, it just kept on going and going and going. Everyone was, everyone was dying and we're just like, what the fuck is going on? And when it came to celebrity deaths in 2016, it was, it was fucking bad. Now 2017, yeah, not, not that bad. It was a little rough. But not that as bad as it was in 2016. But has anybody noticed in the past week how bad it's been for this year? It's insane. I mean, let's start out by over the weekend. We're talking from the weekend to, to, to like early this week. So let's start out over the weekend. We lost Art Bell. If you guys don't know who Art Bell is, uh, he does a show which all the tinfoil hat guys wear. It's called Coast to Coast AM. Uh, it's a pretty popular show. A lot of people... Uh, Watch it. Yep, Robin Williams. That was a hard one to take in. You're definitely right, uh, Johnny Ray. But yeah, Art Bell was one of them that went ahead and we all, uh, lost. He was a very popular radio host. Uh, then after that, the one that really hit me, R. Lee Emery. You guys remember R. Lee Emery from freaking Full Metal Jacket? I mean, everybody quotes his lines freaking everywhere just from that one movie alone. How awesome he was. When it came to Full Metal Jacket, I swear... That first part of Boot Camp alone was like one of the best parts of the fucking movie. He says they're going after everybody. It didn't matter if you were black, white, Hispanic. It didn't matter. You could be Private Pile. He just went after you. He didn't care. What's your name? Lawrence? Lawrence of Arabia? I mean, holy shit. Go for Texas? Stairs and queers come for Texas! Dude, freaking Arlie Emery, who, by the way, was a real-life drill sergeant. Um... When he did that movie, dude, it was absolutely insane. I loved him in that movie. He was just so awesome it, because that's just who he was, and, it, and he just brought it out. Uh, another movie I liked him in was uh, Saving Silverman. Uh, he played a couple – more like a cameo in that movie when he was in it. But he was great. He was hilarious uh, in that movie. I loved Arlie Emery. He's been in a few other roles. I think he even did some stuff on uh, TLC, I think it was, or Discovery Channel. He had a show. I think it was about guns and stuff. It just – fit right in with him. Arlie Emery, dude, that one hit me pretty hard. Another one that hit me hard, Harry Anderson dies after that. For those of you guys who might not know who Harry Anderson is, uh, he he was Judge Harold Stone on Night Court. I grew up with that show in the 1980s. Um, and I love that. <laughs> there you go, Super Laser. Do you suck dicks? Bullshit! Bet you can suck a golf ball through a garden hose! <laughs> Mason, don't repeat that. <laughs> I'm going to be doing that to my nephew all day. Don't be repeating that shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Harry Anderson from, from Night Court. The guy was 65 years old. 65! The guy just made it 
into freaking retirement and he's gone. Dude, that sucks. I was like, oh, that one really hurt. <laughs> you guys are doing early every in the chat, dude. It's great. <laughs> and of course, earlier this week, uh, we lost uh, former first lady Barbara Bush. I didn't catch it right away. My mom was mentioning it to me. And she says, Barbara Bush died. And it, it didn't hit me right away. So about later on in the day, she says, hey, did you know Barbara Bush died? It's like, yeah, didn't you kind of tell me that earlier in the day? Yeah. Wow, that kind of really sucked. I'm not saying George Bush was a great president. I mean, I got nothing against Barbara Bush for crying out loud, you know? It, it, that, was a, that was a rough one. Uh, but, I mean, she was 92 years old. It, I, I know it was... She was having some troubles. And... Uh, but yeah, God bless her for, for Barbara Bush. Also, Bruno San Martino. Those of us who, who follow wrestling, we all know Bruno San Martino. Probably one of the greatest in the ring. Uh, dude, I loved Bruno San Martino. <sighs> Why, you know, and seeing some of the things he's done recently. Fuck, man. I mean, okay, Fabe, I know he knows a lot about Bruno San Martino, but when I saw that happen, I was like, no, not Bruno San Martino. That guy almost looked like he could live forever. He looked great, and, and it just really hurt. And um, also, just recently, outside of celebrity, I don't know how much of a celebrity we could say she was, but uh, Aaron Popovich, the wife of uh, Greg Popovich of the San Antonio Spurs, uh, also uh, passed away. And think about this. This is all happening within one week. And it's just, it's just mind-boggling. And... All I could think of during that whole time is someone better go ahead and get freaking security around Betty White. Because we can't have Betty White die. All right? Everybody's, everyone on their death list has Betty White on the list. So it's like, no, we need to put armed fucking security around Betty White right now. We cannot let Betty White go. I want an army of freaking medics with defibrillators over there in case Betty White croaks. Oh, no, no, no. We're not having the Golden Girls at freaking reunion in heaven yet. Uh, uh, uh. Bam! Send her back and say, no, 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 you stay in here. <laughs> Betty White, we cannot let Betty White go. I want security around Betty White. The Grim Reaper is not getting to Betty White. The Himmel God will not allow anyone to get to Betty White. Uh-uh. Betty White, like my mother, is going to live forever. She's living forever. No one's getting rid of Betty White. Uh-uh. Oh, I want security around her 24-7, at least for the next few months, so that Betty White doesn't go anywhere. Don't get Betty White. Because it's funny, when all these celebrity deaths happen, they want to connect back to Betty White. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not losing Betty White right now. <laughs> Saucer saying, damn, we've got to lay down the law. You're damn right I'm laying down the law. We are not losing Betty White. No fucking way we're going to lose Betty White. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Girl is down. Repeat, Golden Girl is down. Once she goes down, that's it. Defibrillator. Clear. Bang. We're bringing her back. <laughs> no Golden Girls reunion yet. Uh, 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 uh. Not yet. We're going to have this. Keep going. We're going to keep her here. We're going to keep as many celebrities as you can. I'll tell you what. We'll make a trade. We're not going to give you Betty White, but we'll give you a Kardashian. How about a Kardashian? You can have one of them. Okay? Take a Kardashian. But you can't have the Golden Girl. Okay? Take a Kardashian. We'll be happy. It's an even trade-off. Alright? Pick one of them. <laughs> no Betty White. Take, take someone that we don't care about. Alright? Someone who keeps trying to be famous. Hell, take Britney Spears if you want to. Take someone that we just don't care about no more. Alright? Take a Kardashian. Take Donald Trump. Take anybody but Betty White. No, no, no to Betty White. That's like a rule. Hell, I can say the same thing when Michael Jordan gets old. You can't have Michael Jordan. No, Heaven, you can't have Michael Jordan yet. He might be like 80, 90 years old, but he can still play basketball. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can take anybody else. We might have a, a, a Jenner or a Kardashian still on the list that you could have. We'll, we'll trade them. <laughs> Betty White, 96, still surviving. You're damn right, man. Hell, she, she looks good for 96, I'll tell you that. I'm not saying that I would fuck her, but I'm just saying, she looks good for 96. Alright? I, I, I can't complain about that. There you go, Stan Lee. Stan Lee's another one you can't have. Can't have Stan Lee. Please, for the love of God, do not take Stan Lee. 
Stan Lee can live forever because I got to need him in every cameo in every movie. Okay? Every Marvel movie, Stan Lee's got to be there. Hell, we could have Infinity War, which, which starts next week. And then when Thanos comes out to go ahead and destroy the world, saying he's going to go ahead and get rid of him with a snap of a finger, Stan Lee come out of nowhere, and you could look at Thanos going, oh shit, it's Stan Lee. Fuck! <laughs> Wanna fucking take over the world? Stan Lee is still here! <laughs> so that's not going to work. Same thing if Betty White shows up. Ah, oh, damn it, it's Betty White. Anybody but the, the, them two. At least give me a damn Kardashian! <laughs> oh, man. Sophia, favorite golden girl reminds me of Filthy. <laughs> I tell you what, man, you're darn right. I I can't complain about that one. You you are definitely a right sausage. <laughs> oh, I can see it right now. Thanos coming to take over the world. Just the Golden Girl standing in his way, and Thanos would be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'll, I'll come back when they're gone." <laughs> Trust me, they ain't leaving. We still got one Golden Girl left. That's it. We're not letting you have Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> Elias coming out saying I'll pay four million dollars to protect Betty White and Stan Lee. That, that's it? Just four million? They're worth way, the two of them are worth way more than that. Come on, no, you ain't gonna pay you more than that. You want to be a bodyguard? You gotta do more than four mil. Four million? Mm. You gotta do like ten million. Ten million to go ahead and protect them. I think that's the best way to go. I can tell you right now, Thanos coming in, come take over the world in Avengers. That's going to be a saying. <laughs> Speaking of, I, I can't wait for that movie next week. I don't know what it is. I know I'm talking about other stuff, but damn, fucking Infinity War. It's a week away. How crazy is that? We're almost here to freaking Infinity War. All these years building up. Sausage say, Betty, what are these worth my soul? <laughs> I got to agree. I'm telling you, security around Betty White. No one is taking Betty White. Nowhere, no how. Betty White's living forever. Just like my mother, living forever. My mom says, oh, I'm not going to live much longer. Bullshit. Her 75th birthday's coming up for my mom, which is next week. And uh, I told my mom, I says, look, you're going to live to like 150, 200. Oh, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. Yeah, you are. So, Mason, make sure you take care of everything for Grandma. I can mention him all episode because I know he's watching. That's how crazy it is. Especially for all you guys on YouTube wondering, who the hell is Mason? That's my nephew, man. He's he's definitely uh, watching and, and doing shit. But all these celebrities going really quick, it, it really sucks. I don't want to see all this happen. I feel like my childhood is just being taken away from me of all these people uh, that I've watched, that I've seen. Even though Bruno San Martino, I haven't seen as much. Um, you know, I just... Like, damn, man, you want to go back and watch everything of Bruno San Martino. Because he was a great in-ring performer. You know, I mean, shit, Harry Anderson was so good on freaking Night Court. He, he just held the bond for that show. And then eventually he was in the uh, TV movie of It. He played older Richie. And he was good in that movie. Even though it was made for TV. Looking forward to the It sequel, by the way. You know, and... But so many celebrities going fast. Hopefully it slows down because I don't want to see people going away too soon. And I got to sit there on Twitter. Rest a piece of this person. Rest a piece of this person. Rest a piece of this person. It's like, stop. Stop killing everybody. I know that God has a plan for, for everyone. And I just don't want to see it all happen so soon. Because some of these people go way too soon. And I don't want to see that happen. So... It's just, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Lias, I'm pretty sure you're talking about Avengers Infinity War. Good luck going on opening day. It's going to be sold out. Yeah, no kidding. I, I'll probably hit it on the weekend, like a, like a Sunday, uh, which is probably a better day to go because usually around my, in my neck of the woods here in Florida, sometimes on a Sunday I can get in there and uh, be able to watch the movie. My nephew, though, he'll, he'll go crazy for that. And uh, it just would be an absolute blast. We're going to talk a little bit about it adventures uh in the coming weeks if it's not much on this week definitely more next week where we're going to get ready for that so I'm, I'm really excited uh to go ahead and do that let's see we're going to play another round here 70 75 points yeah and we'll keep the same amount of bots i'll make her 
right, so we're all set there. We're gonna change the map. Ooh, DLC bonus. You know, I never played on this one. Let's do Redwood Snow. Why not? I was gonna do Nuketown, but I said, nah, screw it. Yeah, we're coming up on Black Ops 4, which we're gonna be talking about after this match. We're gonna talk Black Ops 4. So that's coming up. Also gonna be talking about Sega. A lot to talk about with Sega coming up. And uh, we'll get into some other things, including God of War, uh, which is coming up tomorrow. Really excited to go ahead and get going on that. So let's go ahead and get started on this match. We're gonna do Fractured uh, on this map. Never did it on this one, so it's gonna be a little interesting doing Redwood Snow. I've been on Redwood before. Never did it on Redwood Snow. So this should be uh, quite interesting. See how this one uh, goes along. I probably should have changed classes and not used Purifier. Could have done something else. But uh, yeah, we'll be talking about Black, uh, about Black Ops 4 in right after this match. We'll get into that and my feelings on uh, Black Ops 4, which is set to release in October. I am going to change classes, though. Let's go. He's my dingo. I used to use on this map, I used to go ahead and use uh, the MX Garand. I loved it, especially for like, a lot of long distance stuff I was doing on here. Oh, you motherfucker, you. Shit. Right, we're down one to nothing. Damn it. We're already down. Come on, team. Oops. No, ah, I messed up my jump. That's a kill. That's a kill. See if we can get anybody here, because... Oh, it's leaving. Fracture point left. There you go, I took it... Well, no, it's back out there again. That was kind of stupid. Oh, shit! Yeah, but Brian, you're playing like garbage today. I think I'm going to be able to see this hostile UAV. Oh, there it is. There we go. UAV is out of business. Get those points. So I, gotta, I feel like I got to escort my teammates to go over to the fracture point. Like, come on, score the points for us. We're down 17 to 9 here. Look, if you're not going to take it, I am. That's it. There you go. I will deposit one. There we go. Let's get some points. All right, we're up right now. 21-17. Oops, sorry. Friendly care package on standby. Ooh, I got a care package. Just afraid to go ahead and use it. Let's see if it's a good spot. Alright, let's get a care package going here. 
UAV? Come on, you could at least give me some missiles or something. I gotta get this to the deposit point because I got seven of them right now. No! Ooh, I do have a hellfire. All right, here we go. All right, I got two. Damn, from behind. We're up in the match. That's what matters right now. Be advised. Hostile UAV incoming. UAV inbound. I think this guy just lets him sit there. I think that's what the computer does a lot, is they'll just let him sit, and this guy's just going to stand there and wait for something to happen. God! Hey, where's my teammate on that one? Unifier ready. Look at it. He's still standing there. Look at this person. Still standing. Not doing nothing. Just standing there. As I die, but still, I had to I had to bitch about it. <laughs> is there something there? I wonder if something was there. Might have been. We're up 45-24 here. Team is, team is getting it done right now. I'm sure we could do that, Elias. Come on, get them, get them, get them, get them! Now go cash them in! All right, 55-24. We're rolling now. We are rolling. Thank you. I score that point. I don't care if it's just one point. Got to collect them all. Ah, crap. Ah! I'm trying to use my other weapon. Which wouldn't have worked out very well. <laughs> Alright, purifier is ready and I haven't really used it and I still have my drone. Usually this would be a hiding spot. Oh, this would be the hiding spot for a lot of the enemy team as they're all running in. Team kill! <laughs> Hostile UAV above. Hostile UAV. Where are you? Hostile UAV spotted. Good, I know it's in the air, but I can't find the fucker. That's the bad part about Redwood. It's like you can't freaking see shit. And screw it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. HCXD deployed. Set my little drone out. Watch out. Oh shit. What? How'd they shoot it? That was a triple kill waiting to happen. Oh my god, that was a triple kill waiting to happen. I lose all my good shit. Damn it, every time I want to use my purifier, it's just not working out. Starting to make a comeback a little bit here. 
Damn it, from behind. Sixty-six thirty-four. Okay, we're rolling again. We're rolling again. Get them cores, baby. Get them. If people run away, I will run in. I don't think I have grenades on me on this. Nope, I don't. Maintain your momentum, because we only need six to win. Where do you... Multiple hot up oh, there's one. Our reputation is our best deterrent. Alright, there we go. We won a match. Yay! We won a match. <laughs> That's how long it took for them to show that I destroyed the UAV. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Can't go down. We're gonna get ready to talk Black Ops 4 here in uh, just a second as soon as we clear all this stuff up. Mess with the best, die like the rest. Mess with the best, die like the last. Uh, roll, baby. I'm oh, not even in the top three. Really? Really? That wasn't my best matchup. What can I say? It was number four. <laughs> you are a good number four. Pretty crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed that little match there. So, let's talk Black Ops 4. Let's talk Black Ops 4. What is there to say about Black Ops 4 right now as I take a drink? Salud. Yeah, water. I felt uh, a lot better. So, I'm trying to find the right words to say about Black Ops because I'm a big fan of the Black Ops series. And when it comes to Call of Duty, you know, I'm not like the biggest Call of Duty fanboy or what some other people are are fans of. And they buy the game religiously every year. It's something that I don't do. Um, I really got into a lot of the older stuff, especially from Treyarch. Treyarch, they just do a really good job with when it comes to Call of Duty. I've loved... Games like World at War, the Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Hell, I even like Black Ops 3, even though the campaign was garbage. I hated the fucking campaign. It's shit. But I give them credit for something. And that was zombies. Zombies from Treyarch is like the best zombies there is. Infinite Warfare, when they did their, their zombie mode, bleh, it was garbage. I suffered through it because I bought the season pass thinking, oh, it might be pretty decent. I'm going to give them a chance. And it sucked. I think only two of the maps I liked. One was came with the game, which was Spaceland, and, and, and the other was uh, Shaolin Shuffle, which I enjoyed. But um, other than that, the rest of the maps, I hated it. I, I absolutely just loathed everything they did in that game. Campaign was okay. I mean, a lot of people bitched about the space thing, but, you know, it wasn't that bad. I got World War II right now, and I haven't even gone through the campaign yet, but I hear the campaign's pretty decent. Which I'm kind of looking forward to because it's World War II. But multiplayer is okay. I kind of like the war mode. And then zombie-wise, it's decent. But I, I, I guess I want more from it. It's leaving me wanting more. And I feel like if you're, if you're making me want more to define what it is, it's hard for me to say that I'm really going to like it. But with Treyarch... It leaves me wanting more in a good way because I've always enjoyed the zombie maps, whether it's playing with that original crew or it's the transit crew, or you kind of get those specialty ones uh, like they like to do, uh, like Call of the Dead, Mob of the Dead, I think it was Shadows of Evil. They do a really good job with their stuff. And the storyline and, and everything about zombies how well it's been fleshed out over the years, over the different games that they've done, is is fantastic. And and one of the things that surprised me with Black Ops 3 when they went ahead and gave us uh, the zombie mode, when they gave us uh, 
you know, the Black Ops zombies and everything, and you had all these great maps and Zombies Chronicles, it just blew me away that they went out and did that. And, you know, shout out to the guys at Treyarch, Jason Blundell and everybody. They did a fantastic job. And when I found out they were, they were titling Black Ops 4, I was sitting there going, oh, what are they doing, you know? But, you know, the whole forget what you know kind of thing. And um, we just got the announcement that Black Ops 4 will not have a campaign. No single player campaign. From what I've heard is, number one, they're not done with it. Or even, you know, close to finishing it. And that the story was a little too outlandish and ridiculous. And, uh... And it caused the team that's been working on it for so long to cancel it altogether. And say, scrap, we're, we're not doing single player, we're not going to do single player campaign. Which is kind of weird because it's like, okay, well, what are we going to have? We're just going to have a game with multiplayer and zombies? Which is pretty much what they were going to put out. We're going to have multiplayer, we're going to have zombies, and that's pretty much it. And I said to myself, well, I hope you're not charging $59.99 for it because I thought that would be fucking insane. There's no way they could charge $59.99 for a straight-up multiplayer game. Now, before I know, a lot of people are going to say, Hey, wait, they did it with Star Wars Battlefront, and they did it with uh, Overwatch. Both of those were $59.99. And I'm going to say, hold on now, hold those horses. Hold those horses. $59.99 for Overwatch, but they give you content for free, except for loot boxes. But they give you content for free. So you get maps to consider and play on for free within that rotation. And they always give you, you know, events and stuff like that to go ahead and, and compete in like Overwatch was doing now, like I did on my show last week uh, where I had Retribution. And then you look at Star Wars, they charged for those fucking maps. Remember that for the last Star Wars before Star Wars Battlefront 2? And they sat there charging for those fucking maps and that, and that pissed the whole freaking internet off. And then all of a sudden this year saying, EA going, yeah, we're going to do it for free. We're going to give it to you for free, except we're going to charge you for fucking loot boxes and really piss you off. Well, anyway, here we are with Black Ops 4. And you're going to give us a multiplayer mode, which, God forbid, they only put nine maps in it. And maybe you have two maps of zombies and say, here, $59.99. And I'm going to look at them going... Fuck you, I ain't gonna pay $59.99 for that. But they did announce, I don't know if it's official yet, but I think it is kind of official at this point. Raven Software is gonna team up with, with Treyarch and they're bringing Battle Royale to Call of Duty. Just what we need, another game with a Battle Royale in it, right? Just when you thought PUBG and, and Fortnite, and I think there's another game that just recently released, uh, that I forget, I forget the name off the top of my head. It's also a battle royale. It's like every game now, all of a sudden, is going to have battle royale. I'm hearing rumors now that Halo is going to have battle royale, and they might announce that at E3 this year. Now, Call of Duty is going to have battle royale. Is it justify 59.99? I, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I don't think it justifies a 59.99 price tag. Am I looking forward to it? Yes. I, am I going to buy it on day one? Yes, because I love Black Ops. It, 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 it's my number one series when it comes to Call of Duty. I will play Black Ops to the fucking cows come home. But I am a little curious about this because I feel like that even with Battle Royale, with multiplayer and zombies, I still don't think it justifies $59.99. So hopefully Activision smarten up, Okay. Smarten up because you don't want to be putting a fifty nine ninety nine game out there and not much to show for it. Remember, remember how Star Wars originally launched and they did the same fucking thing. But one thing also gets me is that um, why does every game have battle royale? Like Halo now is going to have it. I know some there were some memes going out on the internet about all these other games that have battle royale. I think someone put it up like. Um, Forza Motorsport 7, Battle Royale, you know, like all of a sudden every game's got a Battle Royale mode. And you think about it, what made Fortnite so successful is because of the, uh, by the way, hi, Miss Nikki. <laughs> she says hello, so hi to Miss Nikki. Everyone say hi to Miss Nikki. But uh, <laughs> why does everything need Battle Royale? I, I honestly don't believe everything needs a Battle Royale mode. Not every shooter needs Battle Royale. 
Am I gonna see Earth Defense Force now with Battle Royale? Am I gonna see fucking um, Battlefield now gonna have Battle Royale? I mean, does every game really need some sort of Battle Royale mode? Hell, I could create a Battle Royale style game in Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I'm not talking about the one that's gonna be out next week for Xbox One backwards compatibility. I'm talking about on Battlefront 2 that you have right now from EA. You could create it with, uh, <laughs> I'm just reading what Miss Nikki's saying. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Miss Nikki. But um, battle royale. There's a way to create a battle royale style game mode in, in Battlefront 2, which I'll get, I'll share with you guys. It's called onslaught mode. If you do it in custom arcade, you can create one called onslaught, and you set it to where your last man standing, and uh, you set however any however many enemies that you want. Set the map, whatever map you want to play on, and it feels and you set the timer. That'll constantly count down, which you, by the way, you can use like it's the circle closing in on you. And uh, it's it's a really neat idea. I learned about this from, by the way, Miss Nikki, thank you for the follow. Uh, <laughs> I learned about this from Star Wars HQ. Uh, they showed me the game mode. I started playing it a little bit, and I said, man, it's hard. But uh, it's actually really cool, so guys, go check that out. If you do have Battlefront 2, give it a shot and use Onslaught. And with Last Man Standing, set it with your trooper. Don't use heroes, because that's going to suck. Use troopers, and the game ends up be, uh, uh, more fun. But uh, I'd love to see how Call of Duty is going to implement Battle Royale. I, I, I just have no idea how they're really going to put this together, because are they going to have, like, like how PUBG is, like this huge map? Because obviously, how are you going to have vehicles and stuff like that? I don't think we're going to have a huge map like PUBG. I think it might be a little bit more condensed, like a Fortnite map. And uh, you'll have weapons and all that stuff out there. I don't think it'll be based on rarity. I don't know how they're going to make this work. And it's something I hope that in the Worldwide Revealed, which they're going to have next month, that they have clue us in on how Battle Royale is going to work in Call of Duty. I'm interested, yes. Because it'll be the third Battle Royale game I have. I already got Fortnite, where I'm still waiting for the damn Meteor to crash. You know, I don't think it's even crashed yet, even with the latest update that came out. But, uh, I'm waiting for that. And, I'm just... Fuck, man, I'm just waiting for a lot of stuff. You know, PUBG, I'm waiting for the new map, even though I hear the new map's gonna suck. Uh, I, don't, I know a lot of people don't like Miramar very well. But, yeah, Call of Duty with freaking Battle Royale. I'm a little worried... Still a little excited, but a little worried at the same time. I love zombies, so obviously Mob of the Dead, I think, is going to be there on day one, which is like considered one of the best zombie maps there, that Treyarch has done, and they're going to bring that back. Hopefully, they're going to bring over a lot of the other maps in Zombies Chronicles, uh, like have a, a second Zombies Chronicles where we got the Transit crew, and uh, we bring back Call of the Dead and, and uh, you know a couple of the other uh, maps that we were able to play on. I know they weren't, like, the best maps. I know a lot of people don't like Buried and a couple other things, but hopefully they bring that. And then, of course, uh, hopefully they do good map design. I really do, because if they fuck this up, Call of Duty is going to be in a lot of trouble. It's bad enough that we, they were going to have a campaign that, that featured time travel. Seriously, that's what the campaign was going to be. Time travel. You were going to go back and play some of the other levels from previous Call of Duties to supposedly change history. That's what the story was. And that the world would have been, I think the, the real world would have been destroyed. We would have been like a form of the fucking Matrix kind of thing. A Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 weapons. Maybe a little bit of Black Ops 3 weapons, but there wasn't going to be jump packs or any of that other stuff. And, you know, it would have been boots on the ground. But, uh, we're not going to have that. Supposedly, though, with the Battle Royale, from what I'm hearing from Treyarch, is that they're going to implement parts of the story into Battle Royale. Kind of like how Overwatch kind of puts their story into multiplayer. I think we're going to see the same thing. So I like to see how they're going to work this out, how this is going to happen, how this is going to play out.
Diplo. There we go. I'll create a class while I'm in between ready to go here. So we're going to do a matchup here. Uh, this is going to be kill confirmed. And when I come back from this match, we're going to talk Sega. Sega had FES this past weekend. A little excitement and a little what the fuck were they thinking. Give you that, my uh, thoughts on that here right after this matchup. Doing a little out, a little outlaw in the old west kind of setting here for this match. By the way, thank you guys for uh, sticking around this uh, for this episode. I greatly appreciate everyone that's been in here. I think we had at least ten people during this Twitch stream. I know we'll get a lot more views uh, over on YouTube. So for those of you guys on YouTube, when the YouTube people are watching, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. For any of you guys who watch this again after the stream. Leave a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I don't care if you leave a thumbs down because the thing is, it's a view. A view's a view. <laughs> More views, the better. <laughs> Thank you, Sausage. I know my nephew will leave a thumbs up. He always does. <laughs> he enjoys this because he likes going around school telling everybody, I have a YouTuber in the family. <laughs> I hate to ask him what he's going to want to be when he grows up. Are you going to tell me he wants to be a YouTuber? I'll probably be like, you're crazy. Crazy. Let's see. Let me use the peacekeeper for a little bit. This one has the cosmic skin on it. <laughs> Leave a middle finger, dude. Fucking sausage. I can always count on you, bro. Why does it say deposit? Kill confirmed doesn't have deposit. Oh shit! Was he just. Was that person standing next to me and I didn't even pay attention? I have a feeling I left this on fractured. I don't remember kill confirmed having freaking. Yep, it's still on fractured, damn it. Oh well, we'll just leave it. We'll do a kill confirmed for the next one. Hey, look. Thanks for the free one. Friendly UAV inbound. Friendly counter UAV inbound. Friendly counter UAV inbound. Fracture location has moved. Oh, okay. Fracture location. Oh, I can't get my slide down. I don't know why I didn't, wasn't able to get my slide down. There it goes. The sound of the terrain. Let me run here. Ah, damn it! <laughs> I should have known when you got all of them out there, and this guy's got like a shit ton of those orbs. It never works. At least we're up nine to two. Your orbs. Oh no, he was waiting there. Oh no, that is typical of fractured game. Hell, even the AI does it now. Waiting right at the point. Oh, you bastard! Deserve a middle finger just for that. Oh, whoops. Teammate! Ah, oh, shit. I have to get used to the fact that sometimes in, in AI games, they, they seem to run in bunches. Whoa, hostile... Uh-oh, shit. What do I have? Do I have a launcher? No. I have the Shadow Claw. Just stand there, you. Oh no, 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 no. Better be us. Is that our team? It's got those? I think it is. Yes, oh good, they're. Not our team. No, it's not our team. Oh crap. Use our balls. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn it. I should have known we were losing, and then next thing you know, they bring those fuckers out. Where are you, little bastard? No, you bitch! Might have to change guns, what the fuck? Oh shit! The rest of the team is there, I thought I wiped out the whole fucking team! Alright, we're down 2120, that's good news. I'm getting the kills though, but I need to collect them fucking fractures. Not doing very well here. 14 and 13, yeah, I'm doing shit. I need that one set of team kills, that's what's safe. What the fuck? Damn, I didn't hit one of them with that? Doing a lot better in a previous game. Oh, I tried to slide in back over towards the wall. Like you could slide practically anywhere. Choose class. Let's try PPS. Uh, I'll do it next time I spawn. I'm gonna use a PPSH. We're still only down two in this game. Look, them cores. All right, someone protect me. Oh, there it is. There you go. PPSH isn't that like great either, I'll be honest with you. Let's use this person's Argus. Just to be a dick. <laughs> it was just sitting there, it could help it. We're up 54 to 30 now. Turn this game around. I need Ed's view to go ahead and say that because that would be hilarious. Are those ours? I think they're ours. Yeah, it ain't trying to kill me, so we know they're ours. my teammates here and score these points. The fracture has moved. Oh shit. Yes he is sausage dude. <laughs> Ed's view is just insane. He is insane when it comes to doing the rant line. I I'll look forward to him doing rant line tomorrow.
Damn. All right, here's my MX Garand. Is that ours? All right, it's ours. So couldn't afford to take the chance when I saw that, like right in the middle of the freaking battlefield. I, I I'm gonna agree on you about Steven German doing the uh, the rant line. It is, I mean, he had that one moment of gold with Famous B, and then after that, it's just, it's kind of become a little embarrassing. I mean, I like Steven German, I do. He's a good guy. Yeah, it's, it's getting old for him, and uh, I, I would say enough's enough at this point. How did I not get him? Ah, okay. I don't have anything to shoot him down right now, though. But we're up by nine right now. Eleven seconds. It is coming down to this. And then we got a victory. All right, 62. A little bit closer than expected. 62 to uh, 56. It was better than losing, but yeah, not my best work in these games lately. I, I'll get a lot better as, as the time goes on for some of these matchups. Ooh, to the back. But yeah, Elias, you are right. He is obsessed with the belt. Um... I just don't ever see him winning it. I mean, honestly. I know Steven German means well, and... And they gave him points last week, and I knew Joe Cronin's cock must win was going to jump in there and say, uh-uh, to Steven German. So I knew that I knew it was coming. But, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll never win it, but he is very obsessed with, with that belt. And I think a lot of people are, that they, they want to win it. And, um, hell, I even want to win it. I'm not obsessed, but, yeah, I, I want to win the belt. I, honestly, I do. I could be the first from the chat to win it. I know people, other people from the chat are trying to jump in to get it, like D-Moon right now, who probably has the best chance unless I fall from the rafters and say, ah, 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 and bring in my negative points in the bank. <laughs> Which is something I'm really thinking about, and I'll be honest with you. You know, I, I think that's definitely going to happen. But uh, we'll see how that happens and how it uh, unfolds tomorrow night. So, yeah, another topic here. we got a couple topics left here before we... Uh, break for the day get into them right now. So the first one I want to get into is Sega and I want to say something here on on the show that I am probably one of the biggest Sega marks There is one of the biggest Sega marks. I Love Sega. I grew up with Sega Yeah, we've had Nintendo in this house but Sega for me has been a, been a love, and my first my first furry with Sega has been during the days of the Atari 2600. There was a little game called it. I think it was called Thunder Thunder Blast or Thunderground or something like that. I have been Thunderground, and you were in this tank and you were underground digging, kind of like a dig dug style, but in a tank, and you were shooting down these these targets, kind of like how you would have like a frogger thing, and you would they would have like they have the setups like the how the frogs would be in the lily pad, and you're sitting there and you shoot them out. Uh, but yeah, the game I think was called Thunderground. Thunderground was, was what it was called. And I remember during one holiday, uh, my parents gave my brother an NES. And I'm just like, I'm the bigger gamer in this house. How does he get an NES? And I don't get nothing. I got stuck with the Atari 2600, and that's fine. I, I got to play that for a while. But eventually, I bought the Sega Master System. Went on to the Sega Genesis, to the Sega Dreamcast, and event, or the Saturn. I mean, forget the Saturn in between and the Dreamcast. Hell, as much of a Sega mark as I was, I even had the Mushroom Face disaster that was the 32X. Y'all remember the 32X and how much of a disaster that thing was. But I grew up with a love of Sega. I grew up with everything Sega. Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah! Fuck Nintendo! Genesis does what Nintendo don't! You know, all that stuff. And 
ever since Sega went out from the hardware, they went into software. I still supported the company. I still support them now uh, on my Xbox and PS4 with a lot of games that are published by them. Uh, lately, they I got the Yakuza uh, games. I really started getting into that. Uh, I, if you guys noticed on my Twitter account, which is at HighOctane underscore Buzz right there on the bottom, you would see that I did get uh, the Yakuza games. Yakuza 0, Kiwami, which is a remaster of the first game, and now Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, which I'm going to do an unboxing for uh, tomorrow. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to. I already had Yakuza 0 loaded up on my PS4 to go ahead and sit and play, and I plan on doing it on a live stream. Not tomorrow, but that's going to be God of War, but that's a story for later. But anyway, um, Sega, over this past weekend on Saturday, had FES. They had like a fan entertainment show kind of thing uh, where they, they had a presentation to share with the fans. And it was like this great moment of euphoria. They showed us something that has been rumored for a while. And those of you guys, I'm sure, know the game called Shenmue. And they announced Shenmue 1 and 2 in HD, fully remastered for PS4, Xbox One, PC. Sorry, Nintendo Switch guys. They're, they're just not putting it on the Switch. But uh, they're bringing that game out. And I think myself and Mike Bobbitt, who was watching Foulmouth Bobbitt, we exploded and said, yes, freaking Shenmue. Yes, we want Shenmue. That's awesome. I want to play Shenmue. And uh, I remember playing the original Shenmue over on Dreamcast. I played the sequel on, on the original Xbox. And I loved Shenmue. And I feel like what I see with Yakuza kind of goes in with Shenmue. You know, so Shenmue kind of was like that little bit of the beginning, and then it kind of, and you look at what Yakuza is, and it's like, oh my god, it's almost like an extension of what Shenmue was. You know, so I thought that was really cool, getting to see what they were doing. So I'm really excited about Shenmue, because we know that Shenmue 3 is coming to PS4. Uh, it, it's not going to happen this year, maybe next year or the year after. We're finally going to see it because they put that thing out on Kickstarter, and within a day, Kickstarter was like, here you go, here's your money, go make the game. Dude, everyone's on board for a Shenmue 3 because we want to see how the story ends. It was meant to be as a full trilogy, but the Dreamcast kind of died. So we never really got to see how Shenmue was going to evolve. And then eventually we got Shenmue 2, but it was like each game was supposed to interconnect with the other. So the things that you did in the first game would carry over into the second. And then those games would carry over into the third. All your decisions and everything. Kind of like what we see with Telltale right now when they do their games. Uh, kind of the same concept. And to see Shenmue come back, and hopefully having those games interconnect together, and especially with Shenmue 3, just blew my mind. I said, thank you, thank you so much. I can't, I can't believe we're finally going to get that. But through the euphoria came the very big disappointment that became a, another mini console in the market. And it ended up being another mini Sega Genesis. And part of me at first was like, dude, they're going to make a mini Sega Genesis. They're going to do it. Are they finally going to get rid of that piece of shit company at games? Because you know, they fucked them up over the years. And Batman Telltale Game, that's a good one there, Sausage. It was on sale a couple weeks ago. Um, they finally showed the console. The guy had it in front of him, and it was really small. And everyone was just excited. Like the whole Japanese audience, because this was in Japan. The whole Japanese crowd just went nuts. They said, yes, we're finally going to get a mini Sega Genesis. We're so excited. Those of us in North America went crazy because they did say later on, it will be available in North America. I'm excited. We're finally going to get a Sega, Gen a Sega Genesis that looks like it's made by Sega. Until Twitter the next morning. Twitter the next morning says... That we're using the latest at games technology for the new mini console. And at that point, my euphoria just went to the fuck are you thinking? Anybody who doesn't know, let me kind of fill you in on this whole mini console thing for Sega. Sega has, for the past few years, contracted at games to go ahead and make these mini consoles uh, for them. 
And if anybody's seen them throughout the years, they mostly looked like crap. They were pieces of shit. The one thing I'll give them credit for is that they had a, a cartridge slot that you could put your cartridges in there and be able to play the games. The only bad part was that the emulation technology that they use, kind of like what they use for those Retron things, like Retron 5 and stuff like that, it's, it's the same thing. They kind of just use an emulation. It plays like shit. It played like absolute garbage. Add on the fact that they had like 20 or 30 what they called bonus games, like a walk in the park or, or some of this other stuff, like a hippo game and whatever. And they're not Sega games. But yet they boost them in saying, 85 games on this console. You could play Mortal Kombat. You could play Fantasy Star. You could play Sonic, even though it's three pitches low and there's complete lag. The games played like shit. It sounded like shit. The whole thing was shit. This past year, <laughs> Sasha's is like, wait, a hippo game. <laughs> We're not going in hippo in the pick now. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny when Joe did that on Monday night. But uh, they had the console at games did a flashback Genesis, which was an improvement over what they've done through all the years. However, Sonic play music was a little bit better, but the lag was still there. And don't get me started on how to navigate through the menu. They didn't want to use the thing called a D-pad. It's real simple for these companies. All right, if you could see it on here, it's called a D-pad. You might want to use it instead of using the buttons. Here, use these two buttons on this six button controller towards the top to move it left and right. Use these bottom two buttons to move it up and down. It makes absolutely no sense. Directional pad, so much easier. They improved on the controllers. The, the, the console actually looked like a Sega Genesis, even though inside it probably got a zip drive in there, and that's what runs all the damn games. But it was still shit. It was still garbage. The reviewers were saying it was all garbage. That forced at games to go back and say, hey, we're going to delay this thing, and we're going to make it better. You'd think they'd make the menu better, but they didn't. But they added a whole bunch of more, ga whole bunch more games, but the lag was still there. And the, the bad music was still there, and it's like they didn't even learn anything. When is Sega finally going to get it through their heads and say, hey, why are we contracting you to go ahead and make a piece of garbage? Think of the fact that if Sega made this thing themselves like Nintendo did with the NES Classic and the SNES Classic, if they went and did that, okay, we would have gold. They'd be printing fucking money. But Sega, man, they're stupid. This is what hurt them through the years of the, the, what we call the console war, where there actually was a console war, which was called Nintendo versus Sega. It's actually a good book called Console War. You guys go check that out, um, which I have. It's a really awesome book. But um, that's when there actually was a console war, people trying to put someone out of business compared to everyone just respects each other and it's all PC and everything. No one, no one cares. People think there's a console war, but it really isn't one. So it doesn't really exist. It's all in everybody's head. But um, Sega just makes some boneheaded decisions. When they told everybody on Twitter, yeah, using the latest at games technology, there was a backlash that was like a mile long of people saying, whoa, 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 don't make this. It was garbage. It's shit. No one wants this. And it caused Sega to take back the tweet. It's gone. I think they might have recently brought it back, hoping that the, the backlash would end. No, the backlash is continuing. We were excited, and then they fucked it up. It's kind of like back in the day when we were, there was the Sega Genesis and they brought over the, the, the Sega CD, which we thought was going to be great, except you had things like Marky Mark Make My Video, which no one really cared about, you know. That was before he wanted to be a little hardcore. He was like a little thug-like rapper, like John Cena was back in his early career, you know. And he did that good vibration song we all got into because he was just working out and all that shit and all the women loved that. And guys were like, yeah, man, he's fucking lifting weights, you know. That's like what I do. Like, like myself, a Gorilla Strong probably would get off on him fucking lifting weights, you know, because we're all into that. And... You know, the women would be like, oh, look at him, and it's Calvin Klein. You know, whatever. Those were back in the fucking days. But uh, they had these stupid shit on Sega CD. Add on the fact they brought that mushroom cloud known as 32X, which was basically a defibrillator. We could call it the Betty White defibrillator. And uh, they found a way to put this thing on damn life support, only to say, listen, just go release the fucking Saturn and get it over with. And they, and they fucked that up. They fucked it up by putting it out, like, at E3... When they had a set schedule for this thing, said, no, 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 we're going to release it now. Only for them to get their ass whooped by, by Sony when they sat there and said $2.99. So all they had to say was over. 
Dreamcast, ahead of its time. It was awesome. I love the Dreamcast. Supposedly, Nintendo Switch is going to get Sega Dreamcast games and Saturn games coming up. They got Sega Ages coming up on the Switch, which is going to be really cool. By the way, there's a Sega Genesis collection that's coming up for PS4 and Xbox One next month. Not done by At Games. <laughs> Thank God. Which I'll, I'll get into more of that next month when I eventually, uh, when I have it. I'll get into the Sega Genesis collection and talk a lot about that. And I'll have like a live stream with the Sega Genesis collection, which is going to be a lot of fun. But um, I'm, I'm pissed off at Sega for, you know, this mini console. I love the fact that you could pl put your cartridges in. I think that's great for a lot of the other games that you're not able to do. And I think it's a great concept. However, you got to get rid of ad games. Stop contracting them. There's, do it in-house. Do it yourselves. We're not asking you to make another console. You guys can make this little console. Just like how Nintendo made theirs. Put all your games on a fucking zip drive and, and sell them out there like, like, like Nintendo does. It's gold. So, <laughs> Sasha, oh shit, I totally, <laughs> I totally get to that collection so I can kind of get to the, get the experience. Yeah, you got to get the collection. It'll be out next month. There's a Sega Genesis collection. You can find out about it online. Over 50 games are going to be on it. Which are actual Sega games. No, no at games bullshit. But, um, they're putting out these devices. They got a flashback out there. It's, it's, it's garbage, even though the controllers are a lot better. But Sega needs to learn to do it in-house. Make it in-house, make it cool, or else we're going down the same yellow brick road of bullshit. Nintendo, I'm sure at some point this year, will announce uh, the N64 Classic. It's coming. It's a matter of time. They're just going to keep pumping out these mini consoles because that's where the money is. Which is fine. I got the NES Classic. I got the SNES Classic. I got them both, and I'm happy with them. But Nintendo knows how to print money. Sega just doesn't seem to know how to do that. And uh, <laughs> Low Gang for Life Dude. I have no <laughs> idea who that is. <laughs> Says, hello, I just got out of watching r and &R. And he's hating on me, and I came here to calm down. Well, thank you, coming. Thanks for coming, Low Gang for Life, dude. Why do I feel like that's my nephew? I wonder if he's Low Gang for Life, dude. <laughs> I have no, I have no idea because it just took the whole podcast and just went all the way down the other direction. But thanks for coming in, Low Gang for Life. Go ahead and hit the follow button while you're here. I greatly appreciate it. So yeah, calm down, have fun. But um. I just want to say, like, they need... Sega needs to fix their shit in-house. Stop contracting at games. Because they make inferior products. Make the console yourselves. Print money. It's like underpants gnomes, you know? At least you'll have step two. Step one, collect underpants. Step two. Step three, profit. You hit the follow button, little gang. There's there's a follow button. Unless you're on, P on PS4. Go over to Twitch. Twitch.com backslash the Himmel God. You'll find me there and uh, you'll be able to go ahead and hit the follow button. For those of you guys watching, still watching on Twitch. We're going to get more uh, Call of Duty here in just a minute. But um, it's just like the underpants gnomes. Learn how to make profit. Sega, at least this time you'll have step two. Step one, don't sign at games. Step two, make it yourself and put the games in. Step three, print fucking money. Make pool of money. Just like... Activision does with Call of Duty. Make money. No problem, low gang for life, dude. <laughs> but, um... You just need to know how to print money. Sega needs to know how to do that. The nostalgia is great. The look at the console is great. And they showed it over there in Japan and it looked awesome. But, I really want them to do this right. I really, really do. Because Sega, I'm, I'm not going to give you much more of a pass. I'm not. If they're gonna keep fucking up, I don't want to support Sega no more. I don't want to support that hippo no more. You know, I'll just go right over to Nintendo. Hey, Nintendo, how y'all doing? I should have been with you over in the 1990s. Fuck Sonic. I probably wouldn't do that though, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sega, I'm only giving you one more chance here, and then that's it. You can keep making all this new shit that I actually really like, that Kakuza. 
you know, but please don't fuck this up anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of having to deal with fuck ups. So Sega, stop fucking up. Because I'm calling you out on your bullshit. And that's it. That's the end. <laughs> Sausage Hippo in the pick. <laughs> How much fun was that doing that during the week? I think we really irritated that guy. I can tell you that right now. The whole uh, Hippo in the pick. That's what you get. Don't don't bitch at Cronin. Like some other guy on YouTube right now. Or not YouTube. It's on Twitter right now. Uh, who's talking about Joe. And I'm not going to mention the name of the troll on here. I'm pretty sure everyone can find it on Twitter. It's really, really bad. But, uh, Sega, yeah. Stop fucking up, Sega. Really stop fucking up. Let's set up another game here. I'm going to make sure I change the game mode. That's what I want. Let's go kill confirmed. Okay. Now it changed it. Good. And let's go DLC map here. Oh, I know the one I wanted to go to. Go to Splash. But I appreciate you guys all hanging out for as long. Uh, after this match, I'm going to close out the uh, uh, podcast for the day. We'll have some final thoughts to close things up. That's right, Tommy Larry and I went and took final thoughts. <laughs> Don't really care. Don't really care about her. But we're going to go ahead and play some Kill Confirmed. And then we'll close things out uh, for the podcast and probably stick around for a little bit and uh, do some zombies for you guys still sticking around here. Do it. We'll do a round. Kill confirmed. This is like the most weird, one of the weirdest maps is this one because it takes place in like a little water theme park. And then there's that one where it's kind of like you're in a, on a picnic table, which is weird too. Thank you to everyone who's been sticking around. Thank you for uh, hanging out. Those of you guys who are going to be watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for uh, hanging around this long. I, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back again next week. I don't know what I'm going to play. Oh, I know what I'm playing next week. It's going to be Star Wars Battlefront. We're going to play the backwards compatible Star Wars Battlefront from back in 2005. Battlefront 2. Which is going to be awesome. Uh, yes, I am going to talk about God of War before this is all over. So... On, the, on that closing thought, we'll get into uh, God of War here. Which is getting monumental awesome reviews, by the way. I'm, I can't wait to start playing that. Use my KN. Kill confirmed! Oh, you bitch! This uh, setup I have right here, it's just a gun with all the uh, different parts. I, I took out grenades and everything. I don't want grenades or nothing. I just kept it with just a gun. I feel like I get kills a little bit easier with this. Yeah, still alive. Good. I'm going to bring out my little rover here in a little bit. Oh! I have a care package! Maybe i just go ahead and get my care package first here. If you guys let me know, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty, I'll do more Call of Duty 3 in future live streams and just... Do fun stuff. Ooh, hardened sentry. Hardened sentry ready to deploy. I think I have an idea of where I want to stick this fucking thing. Let's see. I put it there. Hardened sentry, do my bidding. Oh, I could have stuck it right here, too. Didn't really think about that. Where's the enemy? I haven't seen them for a few minutes now.
It's almost like they know there's a hardened sentry on the freaking field. Hunt these guys down. Oh, you fuck. Hailstorm awaiting orders. Ooh, got a hailstorm. Request hailstorm missile. Oh, I didn't get anybody with it. Oh, shoot. I got the hardened sentry kill, but I don't think I got anything else on it. Hardened sentry shooting down. Yep. All right, hardened sentry gun is out, and we're down two. Right, I gotta get my bearings. We got oh shoot from behind. He must have just spawned in. Hostile counter UAV is online. All right, we gotta get serious now. We had we had fun for a little while. You're telling me I didn't get him? So what, please tell me how that did not happen? Dude, this guy got me t right, We gotta deny that one. They're kill denied. What the? Getting mad over our computer kills. Can't get mad over the computer kills. It happens, it happens. Eight here, that's not good. We are losing hard on this now. It's like, it's like we were doing good, and then all of a sudden it's just playing like shit now. Ah, oh, shoot. Scythe is ready. Finally. Look, it's a water slide. Yay! I don't want to sit here. I feel like if you sit anywhere, it's like you're just dead in the water. Play this map. Map would be fun, I said. No! Or oh, watch out for the bully people trying to get me. Oh wait, they're not on anymore. <laughs> All right, we're coming back. Shoot. They say we're coming back. Alright, UAV just left. Ah! Oh, down two! Seven. Down out at seven. We were down two. Right, we know he's coming.
Still down two. Down one. High game. Nope, we're down again. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback, man. I love LO Cool J. Oh! Alright, we're up to now. Alright, where's the action coming from here? Oh, you little f <laughs> Now we're down three. Oh, God, this is going back and forth. I'm trying to. Die at 83. Up, down one again. Holy cow, this is, this is coming down to the nitty gritty. Hey, we're going to lose this one. Yep. Damn it, 9188. Oh. Oh, that sucked. Absolutely sucked. I was hoping for it to come back and then say it ends in a tie. I was hoping for that because that would have been the best way to go out is just go out in a tie because that would have been absolutely awesome. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, what the hell? You can't win them all. If they did, it wouldn't be fun. Just, just saying, man. Just how it is. Well, let's go ahead and get ready to go ahead and close up this week's episode. Number one, I want to thank everybody for uh, coming in here, hanging out. Uh, this is not all going to be for the live streams this weekend. As I mentioned, like um, Elias says, God of War, uh, which releases tomorrow. For some people, I'm pretty sure they're picking it up tonight. Unfortunately for me, I have to pick it up tomorrow because uh, that's when my Stone Mason edition is going to be ready. The Stone Mason edition, which is a $150 Yep. <laughs> a god cannot win every time. It's true. And plus, if I was winning on this every time, this mode wouldn't be any fun. So, I'm glad it, it's working out that the way that it is. And, hey, you win some, you lose some. It's just how it is. But uh, I'm getting the Stone Mason Edition. Nice big box. Big Collector's Edition box. And I will be doing an unboxing of the Stone Mason Edition, which I will record when I get it tomorrow. And I will have that up on YouTube. And before monetize this tomorrow night i would say maybe around eight o'clock eastern time joe mac what's up joe mac uh i would say around eight o'clock eastern time i will be streaming god of war right here on twitch for also for you guys on youtube that also means that i will be bringing it to youtube after the stream is done as i'm hanging out on monetize this with everybody but um i will do a stream so you probably get the first two three hours of god of war right here tomorrow 8 p.m eastern time right here on twitch so make sure you guys hit the follow button for those of you guys on youtube make sure you click subscribe thank you by the way joe mac 11301 make sure you guys show some love to joe mac he's the latest to join here today we got eight new followers here today on twitch thank you guys for the follows we're gonna have a lot of gameplay coming up as i said god of war yakuza we're gonna have yakuza gameplay here on the channel uh, Star Wars Battlefront. I mean, I'm talking 2005 Star Wars Battlefront on the Xbox One. It's going to be here on Twitch next week for the Himmel God Has Spoken episode number four, where I will play Battlefront. And it's going to be so much fun to bring that nostalgia back again 
Thank God, thank you, Xbox. Thank you. Thank you for giving us Battlefront that we want. EA, take notes. We'll show you how to do Galactic Conquest. Okay, because that's another thing we really want in Star Wars Battlefront, even though I think uh, Disney's pretty pissed at you guys right now for not giving us what we want. Fucking loot box shit. Which, by the way, they brought loot boxes back. Just thought I'd go ahead and throw that in about Star Wars. They brought those loot boxes back for, for uh, cosmetic items. Cosmetic, folks. They brought them back. And that they want you to buy crystals. So all that monetization that they didn't want because we bitched about it a while back, they brought it back. And they figured, hey, while we're at it, you can have an Ewok hunt too. Yeah, we really wanted an Ewok hunt. No. But yes, 2005 Star Wars Battlefront next week here on the Himmel God Has Spoken. Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you guys tune in for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. We'll talk about a lot of stuff. Maybe we'll get into some... Star Wars Battlefront stuff from EA uh, in the next episode. Uh, and whatever else happens, who knows? Maybe we might talk a little monetize this if someone cashes in during the Joe Cronin show tomorrow. That should be really interesting if one of those guys hits that uh, money, at those points in the bank, and, and see if the Himmel God comes down from the rafters with the negative points in the bank. Should be a lot of fun to go ahead and do that and just ruin someone's parade, ruin the dream, as Ken puts it. Take that dream away. We're, we might have to do it tomorrow night on Monetize This if it comes into play. Hopefully it probably won't because I feel like it would be too soon. But who knows? It could happen. But yes, God of War. It looks awesome. The reviews have been absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to go ahead and start playing God of War. I know some people, as I said, they'll be playing tonight. I'll be playing tomorrow after I do the unboxing and put it out there. And I'm recording the unboxing just in case I open something up and it's got a code that shows up. And I accidentally put it up on the camera. So hopefully that won't happen. If I do, I'll probably edit that part out so no one sees the code. Even though it will be redeemed before you even see it online. But uh, hopefully that won't take place. But it's a big collector's edition. You might see me with my Stone Mason ring that comes with the game. And I'll probably have that on while I'm playing uh, tomorrow night because that's actually pretty cool. So a lot of really cool stuff that's coming in that God of War uh, collector's edition, including a statue and everything. So, Stone Mason edition unboxing tomorrow. Also, I might have up on my YouTube channel an unboxing of Yakuza 6. Uh, I do have it here, which I have not opened yet, and I might go ahead and do a special opening for that tomorrow as well on a separate video. Uh, of course, the Himmel God has spoken every week. I do have it up on YouTube so you guys can check it out. Yes, Joe Mac, take a look on the bottom of the screen. You'll see subscribe on YouTube, which I was just about ready to get to. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at high octane underscore buzz and you can subscribe on YouTube. Just type my name in there, Brian Himmelfarb. Not a problem. You're going to find it right there. Click subscribe. Hit the bell. That way you guys get everything I put out. So for those of you guys watching this, as I upload this to YouTube, this does get uploaded after I finish on Twitch. Everything goes over to YouTube and everyone else who wasn't able to be here live tonight is going to be able to go watch the episode. Hit the like button. Greatly appreciate that. So go ahead and do that. Uh, always appreciate everyone hits the like button. Hell, if you even hit the dislike button, I don't care. You know, it's still a view. I still appreciate you anyway because I still get the subs and the watches and whatever. So it doesn't matter. But uh, make sure you guys check out all the shows this weekend. Monetize this. Derailed. The Corrupted Podcast on Joe Cronin's Patreon. Make sure you guys check that out. Insomniac on Saturday night with Ken from the Foul Mouths Network. Anything can happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to find out why Tommy called me. <laughs> I have no idea, but he called. And I'm pretty sure he wants to say something. And if I do, I make sure I take my phone and hold it away from my ear by at least about a foot or so. Because that's how Tommy answers his phone. I love Tommy. Tommy, nothing but love for you, man. Tommy NC 2010 over there on Twitter. Love you, man. Thank you guys for being, everyone for being here today. Thank you to all the new subs that sub to my channel today. Thank you for all the new followers here on Twitch. Greatly appreciate it. We're going to be back here again tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. God of War. Make sure you guys tune in for that. It's going to be a freaking blast. It's going to be a gore fest. It's going to be awesome. So make sure you guys tune in for that. I am Brian Himmelfarb. I am the Himmel God. This is the Himmel God episode. The Himmel God has spoken episode number three. Thank you guys for being here. We're out. We'll see you next week. All right, guys, that was.